I am Bernice Green and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, for my very first video, I think it's perfect for me to just do a get to know me tag. It will be a called get to know me tag challenge. So there will be 25 questions and I will be answering them. 25 random questions. I found this on my on Pinterest so it's very random. Nobody sent this to me, I just wanted to do it. So for my first video, you'll know a little bit more about me and so on and so forth. So, for the first question, what is the last thing you do before sleeping? Um, the last thing I do before sleeping is my phone. I go on my phone, check my social media, whatever, I can check on my phone. This is it. Uh, second question, how often do you use social media? Every day. Uh, let's check my screen time right now. Uh, oops. My screen time is... It does not say, but mostly like for this for the past week, my average screen time was 13 hours on my phone. And uh, social media, I guess it could be six hours in a day. So I do use my social media a lot. All right, third question: Which social media network is your favorite? Um, my absolute favorite. Hmm, what could it be? I guess Facebook, because I'm always on Facebook. Um, I share a lot of stuff on my Facebook. If you're my Facebook friend, you would see my name on your timeline, on your newsfeed, like every other person. Because I do share a lot of funny memes. It, it's funny to me. It might not be funny to you, but it was funny to me. And then funny stuff, other funny stuff. It doesn't have to be me or like videos, be, people being stupid, informative stuff. Some informative stuff. Yeah. Oh, fourth, we're in the fourth question. What is your biggest regret in life? Um, it's so cliche for me to say that I don't have any because, yeah, a lot of people say that they don't have any, right? But like somehow you should, you could have a regret, but I guess I just haven't lived long enough or I haven't been adventurous enough or tried new things enough for me to be able to have a regret in life. I mean, I'm only 21, there's so much more I'm gonna experience. So but basically, I have been like, very optimistic about my life, my decision making and stuff. Um, I've accepted all the consequences. Like I am, I'm an overthinker, so I guess like I plan out even the consequences about my decision making, so I know what will happen. So I guess there's none. It's very cliche, I know, but there's none. I don't regret anything in my life so far. So far, like I'll come back to that question in like maybe six, ten years, and see if I regret anything by then. Alright, um, what is your favorite decade and why? Which is your favorite decade and why? Um, the, uh, all I can say is the 90s because that's the only decade that I know and I'm very in touch with because about the other day because I don't know anything, like, I don't even know, like, so I guess the 90s, this is the closest to my age too. I'm, I'm not a 90s baby, I'm not claiming to be one, um, but I am a 90s baby, kind of like, you know, I was born in the 99, so it can't, like, I'm not a kid, I'm a baby. I was barely born at the time, but I guess 90s. Uh, what is your favorite childhood memory? Um, I guess growing up with kids around our neighborhood, like, in the living our street. Because when we, like, in the Philippines, like, when you go out, there are, like, kids playing already outside, so I guess that's the thing. And I grew up with my cousin. She's like my best friend, and we were always swimming. Um, she's the daughter of my aunt, my mother's sister. So like we were very close. Like we grew up, like, we grew up together until I had to come here. And they were like, they stayed in the Philippines. So I guess that's my biggest, that's my favorite childhood memory. Is, like growing up with her. We weren't like we didn't get along as good as you might expect, but we did like each other a lot. So I guess like we only. Like, we went to the same school, we wore the same clothes, we had the same toys, so basically, playing with kids, I love kids, so like, I guess that's the most favorite childhood memory I have, I don't have lots, but yeah. Um, how do you celebrate your birthday? Seventh question, how do you guys celebrate? I think the last time I really celebrated my birthday was like, 17, 16? I didn't like on my 18th birthday, it's like a very big Filipino culture. Like when a girl turns 18, they will have a, like a debut 
with like a big party, like the celebrant, like the debutante will wear like gowns, people will come and they'll be eating roses, eating candles and everything like that. But I spent a lot of my money, of a lot of my savings on my pageant at the time. So I didn't have a big party. So when I do celebrate my birthday, I usually just go for dinner with my family. Or like they come here and we do potluck. Or like I spend time with my boyfriend, we stay at home, we cuddle and stuff. But I stay home on my birthday. Even if I don't stay home, I will only go out for dinners. I don't drink. So basically yeah, just dinner with family. Close friends and family. Eight, which color do you like the most? Um, if you know me in person and um, if you're a close friend, you'll probably know which is my favorite color, which is pink. If you look in my closet, it's like jam packed with pink stuff right now. Um, my room has a lot of pink stuff. Most of the things I buy, like my glasses, my bags, my jacket, kind of thing, they're all pink. Pink is like my sunshine color, like pink is my happy color. So if you buy or if, like you get me anything pink, I'll like you on the spot. No questions asked. I will like you. Um, which question are we in? Oh, number nine. How will you describe your style? Um, I'm a girly girl. I like to be feminine. I will wear pants, of course, but most of like most of the clothes I will are like my outfits are very girly, very feminine, flowy, pink. Like I said, pink is my favorite color, so yeah, very girly. Like, like very flowy and stuff, like chiffons. And number 10, what is your favorite dress for parties? Like, I guess it's not really a dress, it's more like a pantsuit. Not suit, but like pants. Um, it's very flowy, like I said, it's still pink. It's um, high-waisted pants, it's wide leg, and when I do wear this, it makes me look tall because I am Averagely short. I am five two and a half. So this pants make me look tall, and then I'll pair it with like a pair of two top. Like this are my like this is my favorite outfit. Like this two together because it's like pink, and then I have like a velvety cardigan that I pair it with, especially when it's cold. But this is like my go-to outfit if I go out. Pink, of course. And number eleven. What is the most uncomfortable item you own? Um, I do like when I do shop, like in store, I do try on my clothes before I go buy them. But I guess my most uncomfortable um, piece of clothing will be like bodysuits or denim shorts, especially denim shorts, as like my mom falls out of the denim shorts, like it just hangs out there, it's like I just flash everybody. So I don't like wearing denim shorts, and if I do, they're a bit longer. As long as like they hug the part there that it doesn't fall out. So denim shorts is the most uncomfortable thing. It's like if you ask me to wear shorts, it won't be denim shorts. I'll probably wear like a pair of like sweatpants kind of fabric. Those kind of fabrics like uh, fleece shorts, but not denim. Like I will barely wear denim shorts. Um, which question are you in? And oh, what is the most comfortable item you own? Piece of clothing. Um, I guess hoodies. Hoodies is like my go-to thing, like especially my boyfriend's hoodies. I will, I steal my boyfriend's hoodies. We all do. So my boyfriend's hoodies is like the most comfortable piece of clothing I own. Oh yes, I do own it somehow. Um, what is the weirdest clothes you have ever worn? I think the weirdest. <laughs> So when I was a kid, we I go to this school, it's a Catholic school, and then we have multiple programs or like events throughout the year. And there's this one year, I think I was in grade one or grade two, that I had to wear um, a chicken costume, a white chicken costume, and it was it was it was weird. Like it's the weirdest. Like it's like ridiculous. It has like a yellow beak, and I had like the legs, the chicken legs. And like the red paint that the chickens have, yeah, I don't like. I feel, like I barely remember it, but it's in my memory. Um, next question: Where do you shop the most at? I am an online shopper, which is really bad because then I just add to cart and then I just check out without checking how much the total was. But I'm an online shopper, so Fashion Nova is my go-to. 
like Fashion Nova clothes is like the bomb and their jeans is the only jeans that I like because I have a tiny waist and I have um, a wide hips so their jeans is like the most that fit me and Zaffo, this dress is from Zaffo, most of my clothes is from Zaffo or Garage um, just because they're the like, especially Zaffo is like the most like, they have like so good like it's like they have the cutest dresses there ever so Zaffle or Fashion Nova. Zaffle if you want to like look cute but like you know feminine and then Fashion Nova is like when I want to look a body kind of thing. So Fashion Nova or Zaffle. And 15. What is the oldest item in your closet? Oh my god I bought this or like my stepdad took me shopping. My stepdad usually takes me shopping every school year for me to get new clothes for the school year, of course. So I bought this when I was in grade eight and it still fits me, yeah, but it's <laughs> it's pink and it's very girly. It's very tight now, but it still fits. Like I could like I could still wear this. Like I'll just put on like a different skirt on top of it or something, but it still do wear like I could still wear it, but I think I've only worn this like once or twice to school because you have to wear something on top of this because this is not this straps this does not work for school dress code so and then it's pretty short well I guess now it's pretty short but back then it wasn't that short but now it's like really short on me I guess I grew up and yes, the oldest and my dad bought this for me when I, my stepdad my stepdad bought this for me when I was in grade 8 which is like 13 14 years old something you've never worn what is it nothing I've worn all my clothes I love fashion so um, I've worn all my clothes I'm an outfit repeater sorry not sorry but I've worn all my clothes probably some that I shouldn't have worn but I have worn all my clothes so there's none um, which fashion trend do you often prefer in the fall season the knee-high boots brown knee-high boots I love the look brown knee-high boots with like a pair of like um, beige sweater, black jeans, and then a scarf. I love it. Like that's my most absolute favorite fall outfit. I do have my go-to outfit for fall. Like if you ask me for like, oh let's go for a coffee or let's go for lunch, that is what I will wear. But basically those kind of outfits like very cliche fall outfits it's like the brown boots, jeans, and then sweater and scarf. So yeah. And what question are we in? Are you guys keeping track of this? Because I'm not. I am I'm lost. Oh okay, number number 18. At what age did you start wearing makeup? Um I started wearing makeup I guess when I was in grade nine or grade ten. My stepdad used to take me shopping, like I said, every school year, and then that includes like makeup shopping, and then my so grade nine, like even if it's just like eyeliner and like a very unmatched foundation, I that's yeah. Number nineteen. What was the first beauty product you tried? Beauty product like makeup, right? Or like this? I don't straighten my hair before. I only straighten it now because I shower at night instead of um, in the morning. But the first beauty product I've tried is probably lipstick. Because it's just lying around when I was a kid and then my mom wears makeup, my aunt wears makeup, and that's what they usually have, an eyeliner or lipstick. So lipstick is the most, the f very first one, especially my aunt used to wear pink lipstick, like a fuchsia pink lipstick. So like, it's pink, of course, I'll wear it. Anything pink, I'll wear it. So I guess lipstick. Lipstick is the very first beauty product I have tried. Number 20, which season is your favorite and why? Um, I guess summer, because I do get cold easily. Um, right now my hands are like freezing cold. But summer, I grew up in a tropical country. I grew up in the Philippines. It's like 95 summer. Yeah, I think the only cold days that we'll have will be around December or like the typhoon season. But like, it's a, like I said, it's 95% summer, so. Um, summer is my favorite just because I can dress up more the way I want because I love wearing dresses like mini dresses um, specifically so summer is like my most absolute favorite thing even though 
summer heat melts my makeup. But still, like, I could go out wearing, not wearing makeup anyway somehow. So, basically, summer. Summer is like, because I can wear. And plus, I love the beach. I don't know how to swim, but I love the beach. So, summer is like the most absolute best season ever. Um, what is your favorite accessory? Necklace. I will always wear a necklace. You will not see me not wear a necklace. You can see me not wearing earrings or ring. But you will always, I do always wear my ring that RJ got me on my 18th birthday. But it's at his place. I forgot it at his place, so I'm not wearing it right now. But I will always wear a necklace. Like, it's my most absolute favorite accessory. Like, I can go any outfit without any jewelry as long as I have a necklace. I'm good. Just because it accentuates my collarbone. I love my collarbone. And I kind of like how the length of my neck. So that's why I always wear a necklace just to like draw, uh, draw fo focus on that area of my face or like body, my neck, or my collarbones. I'm not a I'm not a wardrobe stylist, but personally, I could tell that I do have some style. Like people, like I have friends that watch and I go, what looks good and what doesn't. So I guess it could be like what I like to wear would be the biggest challenge is like what I like to wear will not be something they like to wear or like they have like a such a contradicting um, style for themselves or like, and then I have like something that I have in mind that doesn't look good for on them but I do like it as like a whole outfit so I guess that's the biggest challenge um, what are your must-have apps for blogging um I just started like I said this is my very first video um, so I guess there's none yet because I haven't really um, explored any products or apps that I could use. I have a few friends that will like suggest some, but if you know something better or like products, like something that you use for your own blogging, then send them my way. I will post down my email, my Instagram, and my Facebook, even my Twitter. Even though my Twitter is like very personal, I will post it down below on the description. So you can see me, um, you can contact me and send any suggestions that you might have for me to, if you want to see on my channel or whatever, just something you want to say hi, just, you know, hook me up. Alright, and number 24. I guess this is like a very personal question, but I would still answer it. Um, what would you tell your 13 year old self? I guess just slow down. Like that is my biggest thing, like um, slow down with life, slow down with growing up, um, boys, relationships, they will always be there. Um, you don't have to rush anything, you don't have to rush into relationships, you don't have to rush into being a grown up, being a grown lady. Um, so yeah, basically that's what I'll tell her, my 13 years old self, is to slow down with life, enjoy every moment. You know, you always have time, you all you have to, all that time in the world to experience life. So just slow down. Alright, so the last question. What which quote um which quote inspires you? Um I'm not sure if I read this somewhere else or, or what, but I've been living with this quote since I was 15, 16, that um you can aim as high as you want, but keep yourself grounded. So basically, it's just you can like it's it's self-exploratory, likely most likely. But like for me, it's like it doesn't matter how successful you can be, how successful you are, or what have you achieved. Like that's all good, right? But in the long run, the way you achieve those things is if you step on other people, you hurt other people, or like you're not treating other people properly or nicely. And like you're not a good person for me. Like I don't care if you're the richest person in the room or whatever. But if you're not being kind to people, if you're not being nice, that's not really like it's, you're not successful to me. Like I don't care, right? Like for me, it's like being successful comes with kindness. So basically, that's the quote. Being successful, being successful comes with kindness. So, so be successful with heart. Like Pia Wurzbeck said, you're confident with the heart, so be successful with the heart. So that's pretty much everything for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you know me a little bit more now. 
once again i'll post it down i'll put them in the description below everything all my social medias my email and stuff so you can hit me up you want to say hi to me or want to just get to know me more and then if you have any more suggestions if you want to say be you in my vlog some days after this quarantine is a little longer just message me email me dm me whatever as long as you can contact me i promise i will reply so i'll see you guys i'll see you brats on the next video bye